Welcome to our lecture line, and here's our example number five of how to do a line integral using vector fields. Now notice the equation is defined in terms of x and y, or I should say the force equation or the vector field. We have x times y in the i direction plus 3y squared in the j direction. But the path we're going to take tells us that the parameters in terms of t, x can be defined as 11t to the fourth, and y is equal to t cubed. And then when we plug that in here into our position vector, instead of x and y, we'll end up with 11t to the fourth and t cubed. And when we take the derivative of the position vector, we get 44t cubed and 3t squared for the i and the j. Now we still need to reconvert our force field or our vector field in terms of the parameter t. So let's make that substitution. So f written in terms of t is going to be equal to x times y. So it would be 11t to the fourth times t cubed in the i direction plus 3y squared, that would be t cubed quantity squared in the j direction. So this looks as follows. f in function of t is equal to 11t to the seventh in the i direction plus 3t to the sixth in the j direction. And now we're ready to find the work done by moving from point A to point B as defined by the parameterized uh, variable t. We can then say that the work done is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of the vector field f, which is right here, 11t to the 7th in the i direction, plus 3t to the 6th in the j direction, multiplied via the dot product with the derivative of the position vector, which is 44t cubed in the i direction, plus 3t squared in the j direction, times dt, of course. Right. So when we multiply these together, we get the following. The work done is equal to the integral from 0 to 1. Multiplying the i components together, we get 484t to the 10th power, plus when we multiply the j components together, we get 9t to the 8, and the whole thing times dt. And of course, that's relatively easy to integrate, so this becomes the following. This is equal to 484 t to the 11th divided by 11 plus, and here we get 9 t to the 9th divided by 9. And the limits of integration are from 0 to 1. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. When we plug in the upper limit, we get 44 divided by 11, which is... 44 plus, here we get 9 divided by 9 times, of course, 1 to the 9th power, which is 1. And that gives us a total of 45, which is the work done to move through that vector field from point A to point B, defined by the parameterized variables, T, or the, I should say, the parametric equations, defined here by x and y equals to 11t to the 4th and y equals t cubed. And that's how it's done.